Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be talking for about an hour. You talk an hour. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm David Madigan. I'm the provost here uh, at Northeastern University. I am delighted to welcome you all here this afternoon on this lovely occasion. Um, I'm uh, here on behalf of President Ayun, who sends his best wishes. He is uh, traveling and unfortunately cannot be with us. Um, Governor, uh, you helped us officially open this magnificent building uh, back in uh, last October. Mayor Wu was here as well um, at that time. Um, and you know, th this is a truly magnificent world-class research facility and we are thrilled to uh, welcome you both back. Um, and you can see the, uh, some of the extraordinary things that are going on uh, in, in this building. Um, thank you also, Governor, for bringing several members of your team uh, with you this afternoon. I particularly want to extend a warm welcome to Secretary of Economic Development, Yvonne Howe, who is with us, is about to be with us, um, and Secretary of Technology and Security, Jason Snyder. Hi. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, and also the members of the Governor's AI Task Force, and that is sort of what's happening here today is a, is a meeting, an important meeting of the state AI, the Governor's AI Task Force that will happen uh, directly after this. Um, I'm also delighted to, stay, to share the stage with Mayor Wu um, and welcome her back. Uh, Mayor Wu has been a fantastic partner on many initiatives. And actually, uh, you were here in October. You've been here on a few other occasions as well. Um, so we should probably get you both swipe cards. So from in future, you just swipe your way in. And uh, we'd be delighted to see you anytime. Um, let me also take a, a moment to acknowledge a few Northeastern uh, leaders who are here this afternoon. Former Speaker of the Massachusetts House, and University Fellow for Public Life. Uh, Bob DeLeo is joining us. Thank you, Bob. And we're very fortunate to have Bob uh, here uh, permanently working with us. Absolutely thrilled to have him as a colleague. Um, we're also uh, um, fortunate to have um, the, uh, a group of co-ops over co-op students over here uh, who have been working with as, as AI co-ops for the state um, uh, this past semester, so thank you for, thank you for being here. Um, so nearly a decade ago, uh, in 2015 to be precise, um, Northeastern was probably the first university in the country uh, to launch a, an academic plan, a strategic plan, that was focused on AI and that recognized the, the sort of seminal importance of developments in AI um, to, higher, to the world but, and to higher education in particular. Um, and among other things, that plan back in 2015, very prescient, um, called for a revolution in higher education to ensure that the era of intelligent machines is one of expanding opportunity for all. Um, 2015, a lot, you know, the, the pace has accelerated considerably since then, um, but the vision was there in 2015 as to, as to where the world was headed. Uh, just two years after that, uh, in 2017, President Ayun published Robot Proof, his uh, book, which many of you, I presume, all of you are familiar with, um, and in many ways, it is kind of the definitive blueprint um, for how artificial intelligence, um, it, you know, how it's going to impact higher education and how higher education needs to adapt uh, in the area of, of AI. And everything is just accelerating um, at an extraordinary pace uh, since then. So we think, um, we might be a little biased, but we think, uh, Governor, that you're in exactly the right place mm -hmm. um, to talk about AI, the, the, the state's vision for AI, and of course, uh, the, the, the very important AI task force. Um, in addition to preparing learners for an AI future and a world dominated by, by smart machines, um, we're also very proud here to be home to some of the most consequential and cutting edge research related to AI uh, in the world. Um, we are the home of a rec very recent $9 million National Science Foundation grant um, that we're, uh, the PI is Professor David Bao. We're very proud um, of the work that he's doing, and it's to do with interpretability, the all-important topic of interpretability of generative AI. Um, it's not the only thing that's, that's going on here. We have extraordinary, very exciting AI research going on in the area of detecting cancer, tracking infant health, preventing climate change, um, um, managing student, uh, students, managing patients after cardiac surgery to ensure their successful recovery, and on and on and on. Um, all with, uh, uh, in, in every case, with a, a, an eye on, on ethical AI and responsible AI. And that has been a sort of a key theme of everything we do here um, at this university in, in AI, is, is how do we harness this extraordinary technology to do good? Um, and it's centrally important to, to, uh, to what we do. Um, I mentioned the co-ops uh, earlier. Uh, Governor, you met them, uh, I think, about a week or two ago. Um, and we're, we're, we're thrilled that our students are playing, are kind of at the forefront 
of implementing, actually not just talking about it, but actually implementing AI um, you know, with, within the Commonwealth um, and in, in fact in, in, across other states as well. Um, so thrilled that that work is, is proceeding. Um, we're very proud to be a leading partner of the state in helping to strengthen the Commonwealth's, uh, the future, the, co the economy of the, uh, the Commonwealth. Um, and without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce uh, the Governor of the Commonwealth, um, a, a proud alumna of Northeastern University, uh, Maura Healy. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate your words, Provost, and um, I'm grateful to you, grateful to President Ayun, grateful to Northeastern University for all that you do. Um, it's great to be here alongside Mayor Wu, who has been a great partner, partner to our administration and a great leader and um, innovator, especially in the, in the space of municipal innovation. And uh, that is the theme, indeed, of today innovation. We're also joined by Representative Tricia Farley-Bouvier, who is the chair of the Joint Committee on Advanced IT, the Internet, and Cybersecurity in the State House, a critical partner to the work that we need to do to keep innovation driving Massachusetts forward. Our Secretary of Economic Development, Yvonne Howe, our Secretary of Technology Services and Security, Jason Snyder, and their teams they're working very closely together to make sure that Massachusetts is a leader in AI, both inside and outside of government. I also want to thank, there are a bunch of folks standing over there. They are members of our AI task force. I signed an executive order a while back, named these great folks who come from a cross-section of leading industry, academe, labor, just across the board. I appreciate the time that you've put in to uh, all the work around recommendations that we want to operationalize and, and implement. And we're going to actually have a meeting um, after you guys show off some stuff. We're going to have a, a task force meeting on site here at Northeastern. So thank you very much to the members of our AI task force. And finally, the innovators here at, um, here at the river, um, the Robotics and Intelligent Vehicles Research Laboratory. OK. Um, where is uh, Director, Director Fayed? Back there, wet work, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. And, um, and to you, to all the teams, for the cutting edge work that you are doing. We are looking forward to hearing more about your exciting work. Look, Massachusetts is a state built on innovation. Innovation's been our calling card from day one, starting with revolutions. From there, we got on to, to pioneer other things, first school, first library, first park, first subway, lighthouse. We invented the computer. We also went on to do other things like pioneer access, and thank you, Speaker DeLeo, to universal health care and marriage equality. Mm -hmm. We've led and we continue to lead, most recently with some of our cutting edge innovations in cancer treatment. The first cancer treatment was like developed right here in Massachusetts. COVID vaccines, need I say more? So we're not afraid to try new things. And oftentimes when we do in Massachusetts, we change the world, and that's what we're counting on you guys to do, the students, to help us change the world. The culture of innovation is what gives Massachusetts a competitive edge in a world where we're competing not just against other states, but other countries. It's a culture of innovation that's rooted in our universities, like Northeastern, which attract the brightest minds to discover, to collaborate, and to create. From healthcare and life sciences to clean energy and climate technologies, our innovators are folks who are taking on some of the toughest challenges out there and devising the solutions. Now today we're going to talk about artificial intelligence, a new or not so new innovation that is indeed changing the world. AI is a technology with the potential to transform, not just the potential, it will transform every aspect of our life. It also will change every sector of our economy, unlocking new solutions, creating new career and business opportunities, but it is a lot to work through. Massachusetts innovators, as we'll see in today's presentations, are already at the forefront. But to really be the global leader that I want us to be, we're gonna to continue to drive partnerships across government, industry, and academia. We don't want the great ideas that are hatched here in universities like Northeastern 
and other schools to be commercialized elsewhere. We want them to start and stay and scale here. We are determined to make Massachusetts an engine for AI-driven growth and to bring the benefits to our students, workers, communities, and businesses. Now that's what our administration set out to do. I mentioned the executive order, which I signed a while back. We appointed a really stellar task force. We also developed an economic development plan that identified AI as an area of focus. Not only do I want Massachusetts to be a global hub for life sciences and climate technology, I want us to lead on applied AI. And that's why I proposed a million, $100 million um, investment in applied AI to drive these cross-sector partnerships. Now through Innovate at Mass, we partnered with students right here at Northeastern. And a week ago, I sat with the, uh, their predecessors. See, we already got busy on this. We already worked over the last several months. There were co cohorts of Northeastern students from this program who were embedded in state government, working across state agencies, and they came in and they presented to me and to the Lieutenant Governor, and these, uh, they developed actual AI tool solutions that we're gonna be implementing right now in state agencies to help us improve our functionality and deliver better service to our customers, residents, businesses in Massachusetts. So I'm so excited. I came in the room and I wanted to go over and shake their hand. They, they already know the agencies that they're gonna start in and it's really, really exciting. And trust me, we are counting on you um, big time. So thank you uh, for all who are here, particularly the members of our task force. Um, I wanna say about that task force, talk about work. They've already had, they have 15 working groups. They've had 250 participants in 30 different meetings. So when we say we're gonna do something, we do something, right? Sign that EO and say, get back to me, let's get a report, let's get recommendations, and you guys have just been phenomenal. So today in the meeting, we'll move into the final phase of their work, and we're really, really excited. Uh, now I'm gonna turn it over to our fabulous mayor of Boston, Mayor Michelle Wu, who, um, has been a champion for innovation, a champion for Massachusetts, and, uh, and certainly Boston, of course. And you know, our goal is, and job is to work together to make sure that we are aligned at every level of government, um, state and uh, in our cities, to make sure that the benefits, particularly here when it comes to AI, are really accruing to all of our residents. So I'll turn it over to you, Mayor Wu. Thank you so much, Governor Healy. Uh, I feel blessed every single day to know that you and your team are so deeply intertwined with the work that's happening across the Commonwealth in our cities. Uh, and I'm so grateful for your leadership and for your partnership on many, many different issues. So thank you once again to you and, and everyone here from the state, Madam Secretary, Mr. Secretary, and all of the uh, leaders who are representing all the various pieces in the state, including the newest leaders who are, who are started. Uh, thank you, Provost Madigan, for welcoming us and Northeastern for hosting. I will certainly take a swipe card because I've always wanted to take Speaker DeLeo's <laughs> class. So uh, I will sign myself right up for that. Um, it's great to be back here and to see just in a what feels like uh, just yesterday being here for that big announcement and now seeing all that's happened in between and all of the, the tangible um, progress and impact that this is going to have in our community. And thank you, of course, uh, to Madam uh, Chair and Task Force Member and State Rev, um, Rep uh, Farley Bouvier, thank you for all that you do and, and for being here in Boston and, and representing the need for this across the Commonwealth as well. Um, our team in the city is fantastic and amazing. We've been plugged in and making sure that Boston could do everything we can at the local level while also contributing to that municipal and civic conversation on the national level as well. So thank you to our CIO, Santiago Garces. Thank you to Michael Evans and Carrie Jordan and everyone else who is here from our team who've helped us build up the foundation that we could be the very best partner for the state and the governor's task force as well. The important work that the AI Strategic Task Force is doing is going to have ripple effects long beyond their tenure and long beyond this current moment. As the governor had said, we're known around the world as a hub for innovation in so many different ways, healthcare, life sciences, biotechnology, 
but it's really not just about the inventions and the technology. Thanks to our community, world-class colleges and universities, residents and the activism that's in our neighborhoods, these ideas are driving the creation and application of those technologies as well. And so we are very proud in Boston to have partnered with the Governor's Task Force to lead on people and values-driven AI to keep our residents at the center and focus on the issues that matter to them. We are thrilled to see the research and investments in carbon neutral computing happening across the Commonwealth that will also help us power this work more sustainably. Last year, the City of Boston launched the first municipal generative AI policy of its kind nationally, offering guidance to our workforce on how best to leverage AI to improve our delivery of city services. The goal was to, of course, set some reasonable parameters around disclosure and accuracy and all the things that um, come up with this new, new technology and, and the use with the responsibilities of the public sector, but more importantly, to encourage its use and to make sure that we could lean into the creativity, productivity, and innovation that it provides. And now, with thanks to the Biden-Harris administration and the U.S. Department of Transportation for funding, Boston is exploring how AI can help us improve traffic flow, optimize parking, predict flooding, and make government services more transparent. We're also ensuring that our next generation of leaders is equipped to pick up where we leave off. Last year, our Office of New Urban Mechanics partnered with Teen Central to host AI education workshops for teenagers at the Boston Public Library. We partnered with MIT in 2022 and 2023 to bring AI literacy, coding, and data and policy workshops to BPS schools as well. And with partnership and support from the state, we're building on that momentum by bringing a data science curriculum to our BPS high schools. This will increase students' access to STEM fields, help everyone stay up to date on the newest advancements in technology, and ensure that we're using these, using these cutting edge tools in ways that are thoughtful and inclusive. We're proud to be working with our partners in the private sector and our colleagues at the state and federal levels to use AI responsibly in ways that benefit our workers and communities, improve residents' quality of life and daily experiences, and make the delivery of our public services more efficient and more effective. So thank you so much to everyone. We are so proud to be part of this, and I'll pass it back to Governor Healy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mayor, for your always inspiring and thoughtful words and for all that you are doing. Um, it's really exciting. I would love to close our speaking program today by painting a picture of what our world is going to look like in Massachusetts and with Massachusetts leading the way when it comes to AI. And I think that vision is perhaps best glimpsed in the work of the innovators right here at Northeastern. So I'm going to turn it over to the provost now, who's going to introduce our great innovators. I think the idea is we go over here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Great.